on here. Just make sure it's on. Yep. Today, Tuesday, 12th of July 2016. I'm calling my barrister again. I've kept calling for a long, long time. And here goes. Yeah, hi, um, Shannon, John Wanara again. I'm hoping that I can get to see you this week. Um, uh, the office just said to call you direct, so uh, uh, I might come in if you don't call me on Friday and uh, chance that you're there, okay? So it'll be some, sometime in the morning. I'll, I'll, I'll be coming in. Okay, thank you very much. Bye for now. There, that's my barrister. Very difficult. The last time I went to see him, I just bowled up into the office. But I hadn't bothered um, to go and see him because I know he's busy. And uh, uh, I'd rather sit down and have a, a good conversation rather than um, walking on him when he's not on this subject of Cook Street. I want it wrapped up because it's taking a long time and um, at some stage I will have to call uh, call it in and um, uh, force the issue with Natalie Flower D. Brown, TIB, detective. Um, it's not uh, really fair for the um, police to be holding out on me for some reason behind that or another but this is public I'm making this public but I'm trying so hard for years to get communication going between me the police and the landowners of Cook Street uh, so this is how I get treated with all this authority behind me and Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court chiefs waiting for me to get some answers. So it, it's really showing up in front of the British military and government at a time where there's no cooperation with John Key's government and the way they're running business. Wouldn't run a business like this with me, a King's surrogate, waiting. Um, really, if you were in my shoes or in a chief's shoes, the chief gets held up in the middle of important issues that are threatening on our land and for the sake of national security and other matters that are fraudulent going on. You can see on the case of Hillary Clinton and Obama that I'm following it. I'm tracking it as though I'm one of those lawyers and uh, committee getting some answers out of people that are stubborn to let it go or disclose. Mr. Comey, or Detective, or um, Commissioner, uh, Director of the if, uh, if, FBI, is not coming clean with Hillary Clinton. So it's the same over here with the CIB, the Criminal Investigation Bureau, holding back on me. It's the same issue. I'm publicly displaying uh, graphic material that is unresolved right through the whole monarchy of Queen Elizabeth and Obama and the way they're treating this Admiralty flag here is serious. I made some statements about this to, uh, on, on, on my Facebook site that Americans are better off to come with this flag and join Britain direct and leave the Queen out and King George III 
title and go back to the king. Go back to the king. We have a king, a legitimate king of Britain, UK. Not so much England. It's just as Britain, UK. He is the legitimate monarch, king of Britain, UK, living in London. King Ernest Augustus the fifth. Now, that's all you need. You need him, this flag of his ancestor, King William the Fourth, and you need the laws that go with it, 1838-37. I put that all on Facebook so that you can see that we can pick those acts straight out of there because we're still in a contract. It's a private contract with this flag. Everything, Admiral, in from Britain, Westminster Parliament, is private contract. No one else's business but the person on the other end being challenged. So, um, Gowdy is uh, challenging Comey's uh, director of F FBI in much the same manner as I'm challenging John Key or the CIB here, chief of the CIB and police, and one detective, Natalie Flower Dear Brown. She's disappeared, vanished off to Solomon Islands, got a subpoena on her head. I had to go to court. That's the surrogate king had to go to court to haul her into the court. I'm still waiting since January court hearing, the judge granted a subpoena for my barrister to bring her back into the court. I'm still waiting. It's the 12th of July. No detective Natalie Flower Dew Brown yet in the court. It's getting worse because now it's defaulted, one on top of the other default contract with her. I got a contract with her in a counterclaim. I'm trying to get to my barrister to counterclaim against her, claim against me, with her documents. I've got documents that I've given him, instructions, to reverse the whole process and dismiss the case so I can go back and get my land and them stay out of the way. The police are third party. It's gone into a fourth party now because of other overlapping matters of other temperers with my information. Very serious. And now Obama's abusing this flag of Admiralty. This flag will shut them down if only the Americans and their legal system and the sheriffs there give me a call. Call me up. And I will explain it. And my chiefs here have the authority of this contract with the British Westminster Parliament and Government and the High Court of Admiralty in London to shut down Obama and the martial law use and abuse and the ISIS and everything else that's going on in the elite system. It will shut it down. This flag here has that power. I'm just telling you that I wouldn't put it here for nothing if I didn't know what I was talking about. So to you uh, Americans who are confused about law, this is it. That's, you can't go any further than this. Obama is not real. The flag is being abused. The American flag has been trampled on, burnt and everything else because there was no declaration of independence in it. It was nothing. The Constitution is not worth anything it's written on because it still comes back to a king. When the Queen's there, it wipes everything out. You need a king to wipe the Queen out. That's what I'm trying to tell you all online. No one's listening. So the carnage keeps rolling on and on and on. So long as the Queen's there and you plead ignorance, the Queen will plead ignorance as well. So it goes both ways. And until that's removed, it will continue to function 
in a defunct law because the Pope has destroyed all the laws you're using in America, the, the, the Vatican's laws. He's destroyed it, but if you're still using it, it means you're ignorant of the fact that they're not there anymore. And I'm warning you Americans, British people as well, European people, that this flag is making notice. I'm making a notice on this video because those are affidavits. I'm making this affidavit on this uh, video and all the other videos that's acceptable in the High Court of Admiralty in London. And here, by the looks of it, the judge has accepted the fact that a video is all he wanted to hear when my barrister asked Judge Collins that I wanted to say something and relay through him to the judge. The judge's response was, there's no need for that because it's all on YouTube. That's what I'm saying. I'm using YouTube to make the statement stick. I'm saying that this flag, all it needs is Americans to join with Moai and New Zealand, Aotea New Zealand, and join into Westminster as a fourth state. So we're going in as a third state with Wales and England intentionally to join within the two years of them sorting themselves out with the EU Parliament. Those who have left, the Irish and the Scottish, have to make their minds up. While Scotland's already made its mind up, it's gone. It's divorcing Britain, UK. We're talking about Britain, UK, which is only two countries left fighting for their life. They're quite hopeless without another flag standing beside it, like here in Waitangi, Bay of Islands, New Zealand, on the treaty grounds next to the Marae, you have the British ship, the mast and the crossbow bar with this flag on it and the British flag on the other end. That's proof of claim that we are partners. Okay, That's why they're like that. And so all the Americans had to do is join that and it'll free the whole federal system right out with a new federal. This is federal. You can sack the whole lot of the federal, change it and just put it back up with this federal state, British. Then it'll become real British, not British owned, but real British partnership. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. And I'm warning the Pope with this video that before the 16th, that's only four days left, that you cannot, you, you, it's, you're forbidden Pope Francis, you're forbidden to administer your New World Order, Agenda 21, FEMA camps, and all the rest of the evil things on these lands here, and anywhere in the Commonwealth countries, because we're in contract with Britain, UK, government, and military. I forbid you, on behalf of my chiefs here, I forbid you from enforcing your... New World Order laws through the eight point start of this flag on any of those lands in the Commonwealth countries, the 38 countries in the world, including New Zealand and Pacific Islands. All the Pacific Islands, you're forbidden from going anywhere in there because it's still British, including America, it's still British, controlled, owned. The Queen says she owns it. We're going to whip it off her for the fraud that's going on and below the fraud. All you have to do is acknowledge that through Gaudi and Obama, um, Gaudi and, not Obama, Gaudi and uh, Trey Gaudi and um, Donald Trump or somebody in the next Prime Minister or President of America. President of America, not the United States. President America and the new Prime Minister of Britain, UK. Okay, Prime Minister of Britain, UK. Two states at the moment, two countries, and us uh, as by default of the Queen 
exiting and abandoning their ship of Admiralty at Waitangi, Marae, King's Bench Court, abandoned ship. We are enforcing our laws. You'll see I put it, just put it on site, on Facebook and YouTube here on the video. <coughs> King William's Acts of Parliament of Westminster, 1830-1837. That's here in New Zealand, Altair, under uh, Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. Those acts apply to that court as of now, as it was when we first went into that Marae on the 15th of March 2016. We enforced those acts. That's what I want to back this video with all the other statements I've been making on King William and his authority, one hour sovereign jurisdiction of Admiralty Court Martial Law on Obama. Okay, we can apply the court martial law straight over him and grant to the sheriffs there, I'm acting sheriff here in this country, and enforce that law over Obama and wipe that law out. That's all I want to say on this video. Straight to Britain and the British military, uh, Sir Nicholas Horton um, um, and Sir George Zambales, Rear Admiral of the Navy, Chief of Navy. Uh, they are in a contract with us, a private contract is Admiralty contract with us, the Chiefs of Tribes of New Zealand. Aotearoa New Zealand, or Aotearoa New Zealand, <coughs> and we include the Pacific Islands uh, in under this flag, and the third, 38 Commonwealth countries of the world under this flag, free trade, free passage through the world from Britain. Okay, so you British people, it's a free passage through the world in 250 countries. I'm making that statement right now on this video. <coughs> so, um, because my barrister is not calling me, I have to go on Friday, which will be Tuesday, that's 12th, 13th, 14th, 14th, uh, before the 16th. I want to see him to give him a letter and uh, order instructions to forbid Pope Francis and his Catholic Church and all his Catholic Churches are offensive now on these days because they're not what they were meant to be Christ in the Bible he's discarded the Bible and Christ and that's offended me because it's always been that with churches and Mary and all the rest of it. That's not our belief, but I'm saying it has changed just at the whim. And the Queen has changed at the whim. And Comey has changed at the whim, as if gone in a puff of smoke, all the evidence and on the servers of Hillary Clinton's um, computer, email, classified information went like that, disappeared. So, in that fashion and of negligence and abuse is what I'm saying. This flag will wipe that out. Um, to you, Trey Grady, and all the rest of the investigators in the commission uh, for the um, Hillary Clinton uh, Commission of Investigation, Give me a call here. I'm on Facebook and on Twitter and Google and YouTube. And let's get our administrators here on Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, Chiefs, and also our um, support team to and authorities of the Confederation to put something together and sort that problem out that is the Admiralty 
court martial law. Sort that out, the law part from Britain. We are the closest connection to the British military and government on this basis of this flag of commerce. There's not much time left before the martial law is going to be exercised on America if you left it too long after the 16th. And so make this notice clear that I, John Hoanikaki Wainoa, swear to God Almighty, my truth, solemn truth, in the name of the church shall help me God. Everything I'm saying on these videos is true. From Auckland, New Zealand, as the customary legal advocate, native assessor and creditor, sheriff of the King's Bench Court as surrogate King William IV, Admiralty, jurisdiction of authority for now chiefs of the Confederation, Aotearoa, Aotearoa, New Zealand. So, with that, because my barrister has not answered my calls, it has made it difficult for what to think they are thinking, what he is thinking in his profession as a lawyer, from America at federal federal state level and New Zealand is not a federal state this is a federal state flag they can't touch this they could not use this flag when they picked a new flag to try to get over this one on these lands people know they've got a long history of things don't disappear just like that by just changing a flag at the whim of John Key's thinking for his own financial investment interests and that of the police and the courts and the government itself and their private companies which is nobody's business but theirs to put their interests ahead of the citizens of New Zealand's interests and ours, the chiefs and the hapuka. That's offensive. That is offensive. Um, to us and to the rest of the world watching what's going on on these videos and the longer it takes for my barrister to answer me to resolve the 77 Cook Street title mortgage fraud land transfer the worst is looking for those involved that are accused because no one's putting up a fight not even the iwi Maori in Ngātifātau they're not putting up a fight, even though they've gone against John Key and barred him from their marae. The marais are the highest court in the land here. They hold the authority over the government. The government is only there to govern the country and keep the law of their unruly people. We have our own laws, but we will exercise our laws at such a time as we wish to do so. We're about to do that. We already started on Waitangi Marae, opening it and enforcing these laws in there. We're just waiting to use them on Cook Street. We're not going to stand in the judge's way at the moment because we're getting used to them, getting used to us, who we are on these lands. They have had long enough to adjudicate and to administer their laws and it hasn't done us much great use with us the native still no better off and it's including other people as well the whole citizenship here is not that more inclined to trust John Key the trust is gone the Panama tax havens 
it's mad or tired of his reputation. And it's trying to sweep it under the carpet when it's still there. It's still to be investigated. We're not going to take long to sort that out. And I'm waiting for the police to stand aside so that I can seize Cook Street. I'll keep on going on about it until they come clean. Someone has broken the law in the place. And that's what I'm calling to account. The cost of that is our business in this flag. Anything private is our business to adjudicate what is owed. We have put our intentions ahead publicly to charge anyone breaking our law. <clears throat> I extend this uh, invitation to the American people that it doesn't look very good on the face of your country because Soros, I'm talking about him now because I put his photo on Facebook, Soros has incited war by using Hillary Clinton and Obama and his money and other businesses and their money, the elite, to pay for making war. And the Queen is giving you consent through King George III of America founding documents, doctrines, titled under this flag. This flag represents the George family. And so I'm here standing for the George family from the male dominant bloodlines side of King George the Fourth, King George the Third, King William the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the First. The brothers of their father, King George the Third of America. Okay, so that's holding a lot of weight at the moment against anybody standing in my road here in New Zealand. Individual people with legal name with capitals is a person or a natural person with lower case is the same person operating a business or pseudo acting as though they're somebody else running a business and hiding it inside the tax haven of John Key's government is now liable because Pope Francis destroyed his laws and left you vulnerable. You are on your own individually. That's why the government says you're, you're, if you commit a crime, you're responsible. And that's so true because that's the way it's written, uh, the way I read the law as well. That has changed before the 16th of July 2016. Those laws are still there as there's no other laws used. You use the law at your peril. You use those laws at your peril. We have our own laws. They are there between 1830 and 1837. That's our private business. It's no, no, nobody can tell us not to use them. So Britain can't use these laws, only us can express and enforce those old laws of Hanging in Chains Act, 1834, or the Lunatic Act on anybody, any of those old laws, we still have that 182 years of use of it. We haven't used it yet, we're about to. Okay, that's what I'm saying to you, Americans, Trey Gowdy. We can use that to shut your cases in your any court, in the district court. We can shut down Obama with it. That's it. It is the highest law in the world, this flag, and the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. We are talking from the male line NATO with the right names, the right surnames, the right chiefs, and the right jurisdiction with kings and only kings.
no queens in this. The king created those laws and acts. Check it out on my site, my Facebook site today. I've just listed them there with those offenders, Obama, Barack Obama, and Michael, his wife, men, and Hillary Clinton, and Bill Clinton, her husband, and also George Soros, lined up straight on this King William IV Acts of Westminster Parliament. Those are our inheritance rights to use those laws. It's nobody's business because they're still locked in this flag, wrapped up with the pound note levy decker instrument. You'll see all of that online. I'm just saying it's legal now. We've made it legal inside that courthouse on Kingi Taurua, Chief Kingi Taurua's ancestral land. It's nothing to do with anybody else. Nothing to do with any other Maori because the Maori belongs to John Key. Name, brand, name, patent rights, copyrights of the word Maori. Maori land court, Maori tribunal, Maori everything, Maori. That's why we've gone to Maui. Maui is the memorial standing in London, which is our title besides King William's title, memorial. Two memorials, flag, king, chief, law. That's it. That's all you need to make the law work. This way. Okay, so I'm saying one more time to Pope Francis, I forbid you, on this video, I forbid you and your Catholic churches and your popes and your bishops and your priests and your ministers and your politicians in the government and your universities, professors, everyone working for you, your agents, working with this Admiralty, it's our job to take it off you because it's our contract, not yours. It is not your contract with this eight-point star, as much Irish as I am, <coughs> the Patrick star, and our Irish family, Cosgroves, and Scottish family, Rogans, judges, Cosgrove lawyers, okay, and St. Patrick, uh, my secretary, Jamie, and her Patrick family claim to this eight-point star. St. Patrick's Church Order. That's our title inside Westminster, the death flag of Westminster and Altair, New Zealand. <coughs> so people, I'm serious. And I want to wrap this up with the police. This is to you. Uh, police Minister, Joe's Collins. I've said that enough times on letters I've sent to the government. Ignored them. Prime Minister ignored them, everyone ignored them. But John Key, your name is with my QC lawyer, Utah Choi, signed it. The documents are there for the court to have you in the court tried the same way under this flag. Okay, so that's not going to go away. Everything I put online is not going to go away. It's fixed to Statute Law, Statute Acts of Parliament in Westminster, in the lower house. Okay, so to the police, Minister, and to the Minister of Justice, Amy Adams, Judith Collins, Minister of Police, I want you to remove Natalie Flower Dew Brown off the case against me remove it and stand aside while I use my authority from Waitangi Marae and the Chiefs <coughs> direct from Britain, Westminster to seize 77 Cook Street land. It is our land, it is for you to rebut it. 
this affidavit on this video and I give you this notice that the 4th the 16th of July, Judith Collins, Prime Minister John Key, Governor General, Jerry Multiply, Andrews, Chris Fonson, Attorney General, that it is forbidden for the Pope Francis is forbidden to enforce these laws of the New World Order on these lands while we are the landowners. It is offence to enforce any law under Agenda 21 from our authority to cease and decease from using. I have the authority from Waitangi Marae Chiefs and Kingi Taurua to bar you from entering his lands in Waitangi. We're seizing those lands and the ship of Admiralty of this flag on the treaty grounds and the Marae itself as a consequence of breaking our laws and committing fraud until you can prove to us who you are, your jurisdiction, your authority, your oath of office, your seal of Westminster government, military, and us, your seal you must produce for us and your chief. Otherwise, I'm saying it's our job to seize the land back and the country. In the video. Okay, so I'm swearing these things are true. It's for you to say it's not. Or anybody else to say I'm not. That's why I want to see my barrister for. I want to see my barrister to say it to him. I'm saying it to him on this video. To you, Shannon, I want you for the record to make note, take note, our intent before the 16th of July, 2016, the New World Order laws take effect from that date must not enter into this country through John Key's government. The law inside the Auckland District Court, Shannon, I'm telling you to tell the judge this, that there is a problem with John Key and his government and its authority to govern our country anymore because he is considered, declared as a threat to our national security of citizens of this country who don't trust him, or his government, or the police, or any administration, administration, administrators who are running private business for themselves and their own interests and not our interests. He has ignored us, John Key has ignored us, and the Chiefs, and I was there at the time when we had the meeting on the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th of July, uh, 6th, 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th of February 2016, Waitangi Day. We gave him notice, and that's on the news. Everything's on the news. I haven't got on the news yet. Won't, be, won't need to go on the news because social media says it better than the news. These videos that I put out are real. They are unchallenged, unrebutted, and not refuted. So, in your silence, we accept your silence as guilty, as charged. John Key, Judith Collins, 
Amy Adams, Chris Fullerton, Jeremy Musburite, Minister of Everything in the Parliament. You're now notified of Andres Radio. Today, our authority over your authority of less than a king. So with that, I just want to call my barrister again, see if I can get him. Because I have to ask him before I go in town and then ring the police. It's not a very good sort of relationship with the police. Ignorance is not a virtue. I'm trying. Obviously, it's not there. It would have kicked in by now. Anyway, I've tried so many times. I've tried since last Wednesday I spoke to you, Shannon. Um, and I do want you to put it on record of everything I'm sending you. I'm sending you these videos because I've got all my trust in you to integrate what I say and what I write and what I make in statements to fit inside the courthouse system of law and your bar association. You have to accept the fact that we are authorised people here in this country as native. The native has a right to speak to its own land. The iwi is not the owner of these lands. They are you, the Crown. They are not the native. They are borrowing our titles. And none of them can use Maui. Nobody in the world can use Maui. It's standing in London because Queen Victoria put it there for a reason. Shannon, she put it there to set us up the native. That is a native title. And to uh, Ngāti Kahunugu, it looks like you've taken the first step through one of your rangatahi, rangatiras, uh, kaya, uh, to take this message back to your hapu and own what I'm saying. Uh, as the native to the community of people in your Manihiris, Pagas, Indians and everybody else, Chinese, everybody else to tell them what changed. Tell them what changed. There has to be change because it cannot go on forever in fraud and corruption. There's an end to it. That's why the Pope destroyed those laws because there was too much corruption and fraud and he was doing it too. So he destroyed it, hoping that it'll just fizzle out. No, it takes a while for it to fizzle out because what else is there to use? He'll come back, he's creating all this carnage in the world, especially America, poor American people getting slaughtered because it was meant to be a dump place for those elite people to use as a cash cow on the American Native Indians land. Every Indian land or Native Indigenous people's land, they've done it. Same story here, Australia, Canada, Africa, India. Same thing. It's corrupted the black people. It's corrupted everyone for their own financial investment interests and not the people. So that's what I'm saying people. Um, I'm making bold statements that are true and I want um, you Shannon 
because these videos are long. They go right to the end of three gigabytes and stops. So it jams on the end and runs out with no end bits to it. Uh, but I want to make it quite plain that people are waking up. You have to have a plan, something to fall on. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. You've got the power note, you've got the flag, you've got the power note currency, you've got the flag, you've got a king, and you've got chiefs and natives, and you've got everybody else. That's all you need. You've got the law with it. Fresh. Okay? It's old, you can alter it, but we're, we're going to do that on the way through. And to those Ngāti Kahanunga and Kaya and Gloria and the kids, <coughs> this is the time and, and place to do things because the whole world's moving. You don't want any foreign law to step inside here. So it's your job and your responsibility to protect your lands and to set the benchmark, set the example and make it function. Make it function. You've got the seeds to do it. So that's all we can do is to start practicing what we've already had all along this way to do the job. Okay? Okay then, that, that'll do for now. I'll try to finish it before it hits the end of the stop button. And thank you very much. We'll catch you later. Bye.